Hello there. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be making a salad. It doesn't sound that exciting, but what we're going to do is show you how to take a weeknight salad or even a salad you would serve at a party and kick it up a little bit so it's more of a presentation situation than it is just a salad and some protein. So the first thing we did is we cooked some protein. Cooked a steak. This is a chicken thigh. You can use chicken breasts. And this is a little piece of salmon. So those are going to come into play later. So usually you would serve steak and a salad, chicken and a salad. So we're going to do something a little different and show you how to make it presentation worthy for a group. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lettuce. This is just a bag of regular butter lettuce. You can use any kind of lettuce you want. And we're going to put it on the plate. All right. That's going to be our base. Now we're going to put the protein in the center. Before we do that, we're going to put the accoutrement around the edges. So we have a couple of things. These are little cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put those over here in the corner. Some are cut in half. Some are um, whole. Next we have some green beans. So I steam these green beans and I mean, ice water. They're at room temperature and you don't want to serve these hot because we're serving a salad. So we're going to put these right here. All right. Next we have some red onion. We're going to put that right here on the side. This is an orange bell pepper. You can see we're building a presentation with stuff that you would put in your salad anyway. This is some matchstick carrots. We're going to put these right here on the edge. This is one of my favorite things to put in a salad. These are pickled beets. They're just canned. We're going to stick these over here. And we've got some red bell pepper. Put a couple over here with the orange bell pepper. We also have an avocado. Avocados go great with salad. So we're going to show you a technique to cut avocados. So you get uniform slices and you also get the pit out. So we're going to move this over slightly. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut the avocado in half. Go all the way around it. And it's in half. Just twist it and you can see the pit's right there. So how do we get the pit out? Place it down, take a, your sharp knife, chef's knife, and you just hit it right on top so it sticks, and you twist, and it comes right out. Very simple. So you can, with an avocado, just take a little paring knife and cut little slices down and across, and then scoop it out. I have this tool that I use. You can get it at any grocery store. It's about five bucks. It's an avocado cutter. And all you do is you, you put the rounded edge up at the rounded end of the avocado and you just pull it through and you have uniform slices. So if you want to cut those in half, which we'll do, we're going to put those right here. Okay. So, obviously if you're having more people, get a bigger platter. So for the salmon, all I would do is stick the salmon in the center. And that would be fine. However, for the steak and the chicken, what I would do is slice pieces so people can enjoy. All right, and we'll just put the steak right here in the middle, the fanned out, and that's for the steak. And the same thing for the chicken. I'm just going to cut it off into pieces. I'm going to set the pieces on top. Those will go right there in the center. 
people can serve themselves, whatever they like out of it. It's a great presentation. It's an easy thing to make. A little prep work in getting the chicken and the steak or whatever you're cooking up front. So the last thing we're gonna do is show you how to make a quick dressing. So this is a simple oil and vinegar dressing. I can make it with pretty much everything that's in your house right now. The ratio for salad dressing is three to one. So we're gonna put in three tablespoons of oil. We're using olive oil here. One, two, three, and then one tablespoon of, we're using red wine vinegar. You can use balsamic, use whatever you want. And the final thing we're going to do, this is salt and pepper. Put a little salt and pepper in at the top. And you've got a vinaigrette ready for this beautiful meal. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a very simple salad. When you're serving salad and steak or salad and chicken, instead of just putting it out, do a presentation. Make it look nice. People will appreciate it. So as always, appreciate you taking the time. Thanks to all the subscribers out there. Thank you for all the comments on our website and on our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.